Hi guys, this is Olga. Today I want to show you some of my actual work, uh, what I'm doing right now. Actually, I really like make collages. I'm working right now on this piece. Uh, this is just uh, a part. Actually, I don't know how to call it. Uh, is it really collage or uh, is it painting? Or uh, for me, it's some kind of art object. That's all. It started during the quarantine uh, months in April, I think. Uh, the problem was uh, that I didn't have enough paper for drawing and, and painting. And I had a lot of uh, sketches, watercolor sketches, just abstract, uh, as I'm doing a lot of abstract work. So I had a lot of abstract, um, just uh, small pieces that um, anyways it was uh, useless, it was not really uh, accomplished work. So I thought maybe I can make some um, something from that. And the first work, it was uh, not this piece, it was other. As actually, this work, I've made it, um, I've made it not during quarantine, it was a little bit before, earlier. I just had some, um, some pieces uh, of paper and I cut it and uh, I thought, oh, it's uh, maybe a good idea to make um, uh, something with that. So I think um, what I like and what inspires me, it's um, I like to transform one object into another. It was uh, not always like this, but I think when I started uh, my studies in France, I noticed this. I know I've noticed that I like to make one work and then re retransform or transform this work into another and then into another. So, for example, I I take a picture of something and, and then I'm creating painting. This painting I transform into object. This object I uh, transform in some verbal art. I put it on me. I take pictures. I film some short video. Uh, and then I have a lot different pieces that create uh, whole work. For me it's like whole piece is all these pieces all together. So this is how my brain works, how my art process works most of the time. Uh, that's why I think, I don't know, uh, these uh, steps that it's like a necessity for me to to retransform my objects. But recently I was thinking also that I like in this process, what I like is also, I don't like, as I'm also uh, a lot worries a lot about environment, about uh, ecological uh, situation, especially uh, now when I'm living in Russia, it's really... I like the idea to not uh, throw away uh, paper or some, some, some material that is, uh, can be recycled. And I like this idea of recycle my own art <laughs> into another piece. So that's how I think uh, I started to work on this uh, piece, on this artwork. It's not finished, it's really um, just the beginning and I'm really slow <laughs> because, I don't know, uh, for me it's... Uh, it's complicated to work every day uh, on the same project, as I already said in previous video. That's why I made um, uh, 30 days watercolor challenge uh, myself, uh, just for me, just to make me uh, work in, uh, every day. I think also now, I think that's why I, I studied so much, because when I, uh, in the process in art school or university, I like uh, to have these obligations, uh, even if it's it's not always easy and it's really difficult to be a student when you are already a very adult person. But um, 
I like when I have deadline and I know that I need to finish this work anyway <laughs> and it inspires me and it motivates me because when I have all my time just for art sometimes I can just make me made myself working uh, uh, in the morning or really working all the time or finishing some projects because I really like to start a lot of projects and then I don't have motivation <laughs> to finish something. So that's why also we have now uh, July and I started this in April. Uh, <laughs> uh, the problem uh, was here, I already uh, made um, some photos, I took uh, some pictures outside uh, with this work, uh, you can see it on, actually on my Instagram account, Olga the Art. Uh, please uh, uh, visit, and um, there you can find some some pictures with its work. I put it um, in the field. Uh, I live now outside of the city, so it's, there is some nature. And one of characteristic of my work is that I like to create mobile objects. Uh, light object lightweight uh, uh, art it's for me I don't like I don't like heavy um, materials maybe because I traveled a lot and I had sometimes to put this uh, in my suitcase and go uh, abroad going on the plane and it was uh, last I could say less than years it was um, uh, back and forward, a lot of uh, a lot of travels uh, from France to Russia and uh, from Russia to France to Europe. Uh, so uh, it was often the situation when I have uh, my art and I need to take all my stuff and uh, go to another place um, by plane. So um, maybe because of this but maybe also this also this uh, idea I like the idea of ephemeral art I don't know if in English it's the right word um, art ephemer uh, is it, uh, art that it's um, only exists uh, it's temporary so it's can be in some uh, especially made for some place or maybe just something that disappears. I'm sure you know a lot of artists uh, who works, a lot of artists who work uh, with uh, this ephemeral uh, material piece. Actually, uh, video art, it's also, I think it's also uh, uh, ephemeral art. We have only a projection of the image um, so it's also it exists on the screen uh, or it exists uh, in the uh, gallery space or the art space so um, I like this idea of something very uh, temporary temporary object and so that's why I also I've been working a lot with uh, fabrics I create some uh, space uh, projects uh, how to say uh, some projects in space <laughs> with the fabrics uh, it's also was interesting for me to do something when uh, you know you can't repeat exactly so this piece it exists uh, now in this space like this I can document it with my with the photo photography but then um, it disappears so uh, I like this idea so uh, it's um, to explain uh, this uh, this object. So I just decided to to make really um, uniform pieces. This is actually first time in my life when I do really uh, with the measurements. <laughs> and here I was thinking it's can be interesting this contradiction of, of abstract abstract image abstract painting and really uh, strict form uh, geometrical uh, squares yes I uh, stitch 
this with uh, tape, with the paper tape. But then I, when I took it outside, it was windy, so uh, it's really some, some, somewhere it begins to um, unstitch. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, it was windy, and uh, it began, it uh, began to uh, peel off. Can I say like this? Because I just looked on the translator. <laughs> So um, then I decided uh, that I want to sew it, uh, to sew it, to stitch it with the needle, just uh, just like this, and, and so it takes time. It takes time, but I like this process. Well, the the goal is to make it bigger. Well, I want to create some kind of blanket, so it can be uh, on the ground and also it can be on me and that's why it needs to be uh, flexible and um, I really want to be sure if I uh, put it on me and uh, it will not be, uh, it will still be um, stitched. Uh, it will still be the whole piece. <laughs> well, uh, so that's that is my uh, project, one of my project right now. That I um, I really like this project. I think it's I don't know. I think uh, I like to think about it during the process, and I don't know also how it will. Um, uh, what it become uh, in the end and when it will be the end of this project this is also a question I think it's really difficult question for an artist this moment when you should decide when it's finished when it's, uh, this project is finished so I will keep you updated on this project um, subscribe if you want uh, to see what's what it began and I will also make um, a video when I'll go uh, outside uh, with this uh, maybe I will do some something in the middle of the project so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye